our fans have been through a lot. Emotions in the cups. Relegation battles. Challenging for promotion. But nothing could prepare them for what was to come in 2008. It was a brave fight, and despite packing out Wembley and winning a trophy, the 30 point deduction would ultimately lead to relegation from the Football League. The conference days were tough, tougher than some expected. It was heartbreaking the first season as York came out on top in the playoffs. Another playoff campaign, this time Wrexham stood in the way. We swept them aside and we would face AFC Wimbledon in Manchester. Inches away from Jason Walker. Walker's waiting. Oh. Walker! So close, but Wimbledon win it on spot kicks. Yeah. Another year, another meeting with Wrexham, the odds were against us. Tunnel at the Kenny in the first leg, and we hung on at the race course, back in the final, and in Dreamland after three minutes. Can you believe that? Gray. But it wasn't to be, and York condemned us to another season of conference football. 2013 saw Luton become history makers, the first non-league side to beat a Premier League team in the FA Cup. But in the league. It was time to move on from Buckle. The club needed a rebuild, and it took a special man to turn it around. February 2013, John still arrived at the club. The project will start on Thursday, and it'll be a little step, then a bigger step, then a bigger step. And it will take a while. I want to be a legend at Luton. I want to be a legend. I want, and I want the players to be legends. And I want the staff to be legends. I was there when that happened. He brought togetherness. The feel-good factor was back at Kenilworth Road. The stronger the team, the stronger the team. Luton stormed the league title and more importantly, promotion back to the Football League. Finally, Luton were back amongst the 92 and not just there to make up the numbers. Three to the substitute, it's in! going to fall for Drury, it's through and it's in. We had to say goodbye to a hero and hello to a fresh start. It's, 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 an, it's an ambitious club that, that has plans, that, that wants to go on and, and to get back to, to where it was, hopefully, collectively, as a town, as, 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 a, as a club, as a team, we can move forward together and I said it's, it, they're going to play a vital part and they've been excellent here. Nathan Jones brought in new ideas. And after building the team for a full season, we'd get the chance in the playoffs against Blackpool. Danger here for Blackpool. Behind in the first leg, but not down and out, the Kenny was waiting. Still alive, reflected and in. The other side of this, can they get another one? Yes, they can. 5-4 and aggregate. Yes, he can. Three one up and cruising, but it would end in half. Off the line, or is it? It's into the back of the net. We were determined to build on last season. We put eight past Yeovil on the opening day. We were at our best, slicing teams apart. Our moment finally came. Promotion to League One. Luton were back where they once were. Mixing it with the big boys again, Portsmouth and Sunderland up first. And despite brilliant performances, we only had one point to show for it. Results started to come, an unbeaten run slowly getting bigger. And when it looked like it was over, we fought back in injury Second time. Again. It's so messy in there! It's found its win! 
cutscenes! January brought big news. Nathan Jones leaves the club for Stoke City. It was time for a Luton legend to step up and spur us on. A special night under the lights and a classic. We played Pompey off the park and a special moment from Moncur Round the world. Yeah! gave us a huge three points. Our unbeaten run continued. The togetherness had never been stronger. And our moment came, stepping up into the championship as champions. Luton back in the second tier for the first time since 2007. A new era at Kenilworth Road and a Friday night under the lights to kick it all off. We found it tough, but not as tough as what was about to come. Football stopped and we lost some of our family. That is an applause around Kenilworth Road. Football returns in a way we had never known. But with a familiar face back in the dugout. And here is the reason for, for this press conference, you can see. One defeat in nine, we look like a new team. Lee's gonna miss! Yes! 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 And he saved the club from relegation back to League One. Still the Rallemar, shoots! Yes! Yes! Kazega the Rallemar! The bench go mad! Collins is stepping up, right footed. Yeah! And there's the final whistle! Luton Town are in the championship next season! The next season would see fans return to stadiums, a moment everybody had been waiting for. Wins over Norwich and Preston, and finally, here in the stadium war again. A 12th place finish meant progress for the town. A new season started with huge ambition, and the Kenny was full again. This team just didn't know when to quit. A sixth place finish and playoffs secured. Huddersfield came to town. A goal from Bradley and it was all square after the first leg. Up to Yorkshire with hope. A goal from Rhodes took Huddersfield to Wembley. We were gutted, but we were proud. ready to go again and with a new number nine and here's Morris 2-0 we had some convincing wins the playoff dream was on again it's a brilliant one towards the far post and there's the second goal oh that's yeah. right hit it in the break is on for Colton Morris Luton's number nine with lovely feet and a fine finish but it was again time for another new era. Nathan Jones left for Premier League Southampton and we didn't have to look far for a replacement. Rob settled in quickly and the results started coming. Morris Dodes, he's going to have a crack at goal! A team that was going from strength to strength. The wins kept coming. The crowd kept believing. A huge Derby Day win and redemption for the gaffer. Drags it across goal. Super football. A third place finish. Playoffs secured. Sunderland stood tall. 46,000 fans at the stadium alike. That's a brilliant save, but into the roof the net from Adebayo. We're left still in it. Back to the Kenny for the biggest game of our season. A sold out crowd roaring us on. Osho got us level. Kick, it's headed down by Lockyer and it's put in. And Lockyer put us ahead. Curled back in by Alfie. Gouty and into the net. Tom Lockyer, the Luton skipper, with a flying header. A moment that will live forever in the memory. Luton Town in the Championship Playoff Final. Roared on by 36,000 fans. This is our time. We are Luton Town. We are Premier League.